tonight we have a look at a suspect wanted in connection to a string of armed robberies in Detroit. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Alan Campbell. And I'm Glenda Lewis. Police say the robber finds his victims through dating apps. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell live with what you need to know to protect yourself. Kim. Yes, Detroit police say they know that there are four cases that are connected, but they believe that there might be more out there that people might be embarrassed to make police reports after falling victim. They're hoping you recognize the suspect that has been caught on camera. Detroit police say this is a surveillance picture of a robber who has set up fake profiles, pretending to be a woman looking for a man on Snapchat and Tinder. Leading them to believe that they're going to meet a woman for a date. He has asked all of them to meet in neighborhoods not far from the area of Wyoming and the lodge. The suspect will come out of the darkness, get the drop on him with a firearm. In one instance, the victim was robbed of cash and valuables right there. In the three other instances, the perpetrator actually, because they didn't have a significant amount of cash on them, actually forced these three other victims to go to an ATM to withdraw cash. Police say one way to protect yourself is to set up any date in a public place, such as a restaurant or mall, where there are surveillance cameras to gather evidence. You know, and if they're reluctant to meet you somewhere like that, if you say, oh, hey, let's meet in the parking lot of the police station or the lobby of the police station, a public building, a restaurant, if they won't do that, there's your sign. You know, there's your red flag that you probably shouldn't meet up with that person. Detroit police say one thing the robber did was tell some of his victims to bring flowers. Don't think that that is a romantic comment. Police say that it's actually code that prostitutes use to bring cash. Some of the victims didn't know this and romantically and naively showed up with a bouquet. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Wow, hope they're more informed now, Kim. Thank you.